Okay guys, I'm here with the one and only Erica Hickson. Erica, I remember when you first started working out, you had the knee brace. The yeah. knee brace, right? Do you remember the knee brace? Yeah. And that knee brace was honestly your crutch when you first walked in. You mm -hmm. had a lot of like, I can't do it thoughts in your brain right. and honestly your brain was reflecting on how your body was able to move and I knew because you told me that you used to play soccer mm -hmm. that you had this inner athlete and I could see it because I could see the burst of speed when you used to do a lot of agility work and I was like I know she's got it in here and I said Erica get rid of the knee brace it's a crutch <laughs> start to get rid of the knee brace and right away you did it and within a couple months you weren't using that thing anymore right right you're not that old that you needed to have this knee brace and you had the abilities and ever since then Erica look at you you do two workouts in the morning you uh -huh. do two workouts in the evening right. you've lost how much weight um around 75 75 yes. pounds yeah. so I've been coaching Erica how many belly burns do you know um, it's got to be at least eight could be eight or so two yeah. years right two years, two years yeah. almost every single belly burn so that's basically 12 belly burns that we've had done yeah and just like everybody else you've had your ups you've had your downs you've gone through summers you've gone through Christmases mm -hmm. but you've always come back and you've always given it your all right and I remember when you first started doing the belly burns you always struggle with steps yeah You're like RJ <laughs> I can't get my steps and I'm like Erica just do it and you just started doing it now how many steps a day you get yeah I would get like like maybe 12 15 on average easy in, yeah every day yeah so Without. what it, what have you done differently because you work a desk job right so you sit mm -hmm. lots you take calls so how do you get 12,000 steps throughout the day well um after my 5 a.m workout okay. sometimes i will go home like when it's warm mm. and i will run for like 15 minutes straight. outside outside okay what yeah. about now with the winter with the winter, I'll just go in front of my TV and just steps while I'm doing something. Okay. Yeah. Every every time I'm working in the house, I keep on doing a little steps work, step yeah. work, and yeah. You're one of everybody's favorites here. We all love you here. Mm -hmm. And it honestly shows with everybody that's into the Fit Fam. And so you don't drive. No. <laughs> so that's a huge obstacle for you, right? So that yeah. gives you more than enough excuses not to come. Right. So for somebody out there that they're like, well, you know, I'm gonna have a hard time getting there, this and that. I think one of the keys to just getting here is creating friendships. That is correct, right? yeah. I have, well, I got a lot of friends from since I started Fit Club, really, really close friends yeah. that I am, they would pick me up for 5 a.m. They like, like for the 4.55 class, they will show up like 4.30 mm -hmm. or so to pick me up. And then if that one can't make it, another one will come. And there's like a whole bunch of friends that will say, oh, I can pick you up. I can pick you up. I'm like, oh, even Caroline that lives like 30 minutes away from me, you yeah. will volunteer to pick me up. Yeah. Yeah. And thanks to Mary and me and... How about your husband? Shane. Oh, and my at, husband. At night, yeah, at night. Does he, he drive you here? He drives me here. He drives you here evening. and picks you up. And picks me up. And me picks you up. Now, yeah. he's not here. He doesn't work out with us, but no. maybe one day. Well, hopefully one day. Maybe one day. day. Yeah. So how does that work with your family life? Because you got, you got your whole family. Are they, how does it work when it comes to food? Because I'm, I know these guys aren't doing peak week. <laughs> no, they're not doing peak week. Sometimes, well, I will cook my meals okay. separate. Yeah. Sometimes they will eat the same stuff that okay, I eat. That's good, yeah. Or if they get tired of eating what I'm eating, yeah. maybe I will prepare or my husband oh. prepare their meal most of the time. Okay. Yeah. And so, so we work around, we work around it. Even my son will prepare his own meal when it comes to, yeah, timing. So you've, I've seen you struggle with fatigue and then lately like this past three to six months I haven't seen it at all so everybody I think as we age especially we, sh we all struggle with just being tired We're yeah. we never get enough sleep we never drink enough water we always have so much high demands what is it that you think or is there anything that you could think of that's contributing to you having so much energy to be up at four in the morning and then also work out at 5 p.m. when you had a full day of work? I know, I think it's just the the change in my, the nutrition. Mm. That's the biggest thing to me right now, is the nutrition. Like, I can eat like less than 1,200 12, calories and right. not hungry at all. Right. Whereas I used to consume a lot of my fast food oh. and still be hungry a lot right. but when it comes to the nutrition that I learned from RJ yeah, yeah it's really working perfect so yeah. a lot of people think that 
that you know i can't afford it right so like first of all they, they say that they can't afford the gym membership mm -hmm. much less afford to be in a belly burn because there's two separate programs right. now you just mentioned when you would eat fast food and like with the cost of inflation now, everything is up. Right. You go to a restaurant and you're looking at a minimum of 20 to $25 for a burger yeah. that used to cost you nine bucks. Yeah. And so when you're in a belly burn and you're focused, would you say that that's a way that you save money by eating more nutritious, healthy food so you feel fuller longer? Yeah, um, yeah, I save a lot in order to do the belly burn. Um, what I do, like if the family is gonna eat out, I don't eat out, I keep, I eat um, my plan, okay, nice. right? And that's my saving that goes towards mm. my belly burn or my gym membership. That's how I do it. Just so, cut all. How do you plan your day? Like, so you have, you know, certain timings of workouts, you have work, you have uh, like, you got to eat, you have your, your family stuff. Like, how does that, how do you, how do you get the time? How do you find the time to do all this? Um, well, since I work out 5 a.m. in the morning, the earlier I get up, the more, I don't know, once I get up early and do that 5 a.m. class, yeah. I got the energy right. to just go, 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 go. Yeah. Once I do the 5 a.m., I'll go home, then do breakfast. I start work at 7.30. Mm. And then from there, I work from home and I prep, cook while I work during my break. Of course. Because I sit for eight hours. <laughs> yeah. So during my break, yeah. I, prep. I will prep. Right. Yeah. So you prep, you eat, then you go to the gym, and then it's full family life. Full family time. What, what, what time do you go to bed and what's your, your bedtime routine? <laughs> late? <laughs> you go to bed late? I try and go to bed as early as possible, okay. but I usually close my eyes like 11, okay. 12 o'clock. Oh, Sometimes I get it early though. Yeah. Like once my coach say, go to bed early, <laughs> yeah. I'm in bed early though. <laughs> but yeah, I work around the time. Yeah. Yeah. So, so somebody that's just starting off, so Erica, day one, what, what are you telling her to get her into the gym? And what are you telling her to at least continue and try for the next three months? So Erica, before she, before she came to the gym, uh -huh. then Erica just starting the gym, what would you tell her? Um. <laughs> Erica before the gym. <laughs> Erica before the gym. Yeah. Well, before the gym, I was very, I really wanted to lose the weight. But um, I just couldn't find a way. I joined other gyms mm -hmm. and it just wasn't working mm -hmm. until I step on the blue. When I step on the blue, the first workout was very, very, very tough. But I'm like, I can do this. I am an athlete. There and you if you don't push yourself, yes. then you're not going to get any results at all. Right. So it has to be consistent, consistent, consistent. Yeah. To me, that's it. So just show up, just show, show up. up. Regardless yeah. if you're sore, tired, busy. Anything, just yeah. show up. Just show up. Once you show up, you're here. Right. It's going gonna, it's gonna to work for you. Just show up. So people probably think that you're 25. Can we tell the audience? Can we tell tell the people? Yeah, your age? 26 years. <laughs> 26 oh. years? 26? Oh. Not 26! Oh my God, George! <laughs> <laughs> <Is it? laughs> um, she needs food. <laughs> I'm 40, uh, 46. Wow, 46. So to the date, uh -huh. what kind of pro what kind of weight loss progress have you gotten? The weight loss progress. Yeah. So how much weight have you totally lost? Do you remember? Yeah, I lost around 75 plus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I gained muscle, lost fat, yeah. and all of that. Um, you had that waist, that waist stronger. thing. Remember, you had a waist. It measured your waist, so it was yeah. like a bead. What was that? What's that thing called? It's just like a chain bead belt that I used to check my, um, to check if I'm losing weight or. Yeah. So it was it, it was basically like a like a progress. cinch thing that was measured perfectly for your body. Yeah. And I remember you showed me a photo where it was like way up here mm -hmm. and then it, Yeah, it, I started up here. Yeah. And then it's reached down here. So now that thing's probably like a hula hoop. Yeah. So now I make a new one. Yeah. Yeah. So I just wanted to see the progress with that one. Yeah. So what can we expect from Erica 1000 to ex to Erica 2000? What what's the mission? What's the mission? <laughs> My mission at this moment is to gain more strength, yep. to gain... I lift heavier? Lift heavier. Okay. Um, 
well, you know, consistency is yeah. one. And to more energy. I'm mm -hmm. trying to build on more and more energy. Bring more energy Bring more to the energy. blue or yeah. to the light? To both, both. To life and yeah. yeah. I think that you've definitely accomplished that. Like I said, when I've the first year you were constantly battling fatigue. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, there is no fatigue. So that's why I don't even pick on you much on the blue, because I know I can see it in you. There's days when you're like this, and there was a lot of days like that before. Yeah. But now you come in, I see you going, you and May, you guys are giving her. And so I think that you've definitely gained the energy. The strength is 100% there. And I'm excited to see us do this video in a thousand workouts as to where you're going to be. Yeah, because when I started uh, my knee, I had a surgery in 2004 during a soccer game. Mm. And I've never played or do any sort of exercise or competitive game or anything until I came here. Yeah. And now I'm doing the 100 meter dash. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so there we go, guys. Yeah. Life doesn't stop. You can always get 1% better every single day. Erica, thank you for sharing your story. Congratulations on 1,000 workouts. Thank you.